knockout sensation, Shannon Wirachai takes on Yuri Lapagus. Representing Moldova, Yuri Lapikos. That thumping music is designed to inject fear into the heart of his opponent. It should scare you because this is a scary man. Let me tell you about Yuri Lapikos from Team Petrosian. That's right, he's trained by the great Giorgio Petrosian. This man is 12 and 0, 12 wins. Every single win, they date back to, to 2014. Every single win, all 12, have been in the very first round. Mitch Yuri Lapikos in one championship, a scary sight. We're gonna go the global rule set on this one. That's three five minute rounds, bout judge its entirety, not round by round. Yeah, Lapagus is a very exciting mixed martial artist. He loves to rush forward looking for that takedown, and he says he wants to go after that rear naked choke. He knows that Shannon Weirchai does his best work off the back foot, but he says that Shannon Weirchai has never faced an opponent like me. Representing Thailand, Shannon Wanshin Wirachai. I hope it is not in game for Shannon Wirachai tonight. Just like Iron Man defeated Thanos. Let's see if Shannon Wirachai can turn his career around and defeat Yuri Lapikas. Sorry, Mitch, should I just spoil Avengers Endgame for you? Come on, spoiler alert. <laughs> What's going on with this? Tell us about Shannon Wirachai, Mitch, because he needs to turn his career around and he's thrown in against you about a man who has never been beaten and has never gone past the first round. Yeah, this is a dangerous match for Mr. Wirachai, but Wirachai does best when opponents rush him, when opponents come after him and try to take him down. He's got a very strong judo base. He's able to defend the takedowns and stop opponents from putting on his back. And then he's got that beautiful check right hook. He uses that as a, as a range finder and he uses it also to put people to sleep. So this stylistically, this is a perfect matchup for him. Lapikas rushes forward, gets a control of his opponents, puts them on their back and then hunts for that rear naked choke. Shannon Wirachai, he says that he's worked best on trying to get his aggression back, trying to dictate you know, trying to go forward, trying to take control of a match, trying to be aggressive. But Shannon Wirachai is one of the best counter strikers in one championship and does his best work off the back foot. And and that's what this is gonna come down to, is Lapikas, who is a Petrosian trained athlete, a very high level kickboxer. And those guys break down opponent striking very well. So I can only imagine that the Petrosian team got together and said that Shannon Wirachai is a counter striker. You don't want to rush him. You want to come in and out, land big shots, and then get away. But Shannon Wirachai, when you come at him, he throws that beautiful check right hook. He times himself perfectly. He waits till he hurts you, and then he goes after you. Second fastest finish in one lightweight history. Ultra fast against the guy we just saw, Rahul Raju, who's got good striking. 21 seconds in the very first round, but he's also got a 29 second knockout as well. So Shannon Wirachai can put you to sleep. So this is not the time to go to a bathroom play. Take, do not leave, you're set right now because this is the match you need to watch. It's a mixed martial arts rules contest set for three by five minute rounds. It's Thailand versus Moldova. Lapikas and Wirajai. Wirajai the older, he's the shorter. Two strikers throw down in the one championship ring. Here's Tom Lau for our official introductions. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this next match is three rounds of five minutes in a one championship lightweight contest. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, 
He is a Muay Thai kickboxer, standing at 180 centimeters tall, holding a perfect mixed martial arts record of 12 wins and no losses. Training out of Team Petrosian and representing Moldova. Give it up for Iuri Lepikers. And now, in finishing his opponent out of the red corner, he is a Naksu champion, standing at 175 centimeters tall, holding a mixed martial arts record of nine wins and four losses. Training out of Bangkok Fight Lab and Tiger Muay Thai, representing Thailand. He is Shadan Wunshin. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Motohiro Tsurua. Sit down. Okay. No head padding, no striking in groin, no striking back of the head. Do not kick head of the grounded opponent, okay? Pre fight, pre fight. Shake hands. Final instructions from referee Go Tomohiro. We are ready for three rounds of action. Nobody in 12 contests dating back to 2014 Jets. has gotten out of the Jets. first round Jets. against Hi. Yuri you ready? Lapikis. You ready? Will he make it 13 Go. first round finishes in a row? The man trained by Giorgio Petrosian against Shannon Wurjai, a man who himself, as Mitch mentioned earlier, holds many a record here in one championship. Yeah, this is the first time Lapikas has been out of Italy. So he's done all his matches, all 12 of them have been competing inside Italy. So it'll be interesting to see how he handles the adjustment to coming overseas. And right now he's starting to land some leg kicks and body kicks. He's taking his time. He's not being very, you know, impatient. He's not rushing forward. He knows he wants the takedown, but he's using that leg kick to just kind of set everything up. We're a Jai who's beaten the likes of Rahul Raju, Rajinda Singh Mina, Peter Davis, Samir Khan. A certain dragon. Hey, hey. I'm getting so, flashbacks of soccer <laughs> kicks. <laughs> Roundhouse kick there from Lapicus. Lapicus has been studying tape, I think, of We're Jai, realizing you don't want to rush on one shin. Now he rushes for a takedown, however. We're a Jai back to his feet. Tries for another takedown to Lapicus. Beautiful little outside trip there. He seems very patient in his execution on the takedowns. He's not coming forward, he's not blitzing forward with the hands, because he knows that Shannon Wirichai's got good head movement, just like that. But he transitions nice down into a double leg, but a good sprawl. Shannon Wirichai has very good hips, and he's always scrambling back up to his feet. Mitch, if you're a guy with 12 first round finishes, if you've never known life outside of the opening five minutes of a contest, if this does go into the second round, how does that mentally affect him? It depends. It depends on what kind of athlete he is. He seems very calm. He seems very relaxed. I'm sure he's expecting a, you know, a, a war here because he knows just how experienced Shannon Wirichai is. So it's going to be, you know, it'll tell us a lot if this thing hits the second round, exactly what kind of warrior he is. Four knockouts, eight submissions, 100% finishing rate, 12 and 0 for Yuri Lapikus, the BJJ Blue Belt. Based in Italy these days, that Team Petrosian with Giorgio and Armin Petrosian. Giorgio competing later on tonight in the one for the way World Kickboxing Grand Prix quarterfinals. He takes on Muay Thai World Champion Pit Morocco Pit India Academy. Shannon's got very heavy hips. As you can see, a lot of these takedowns, he's been able to defend all the takedowns so far by Lapikas. He got, he got dropped a little bit, but he's able to scramble back up. Shannon's been working a lot on his wrestling. We saw a very lethargic Shannon Wurichai last time out. Very unimpressive, Mitch. Do you see a difference so far tonight? Seems to be a bit more snap, a little bit more pepper about Shannon Wurichai. Yeah, there's a little bit more urgency behind him. You know, I, he told me that he's been getting, you know, a lot of, um, so shall I say, uh, criticism, you know, back in Thailand about him failing to pull the trigger and being able to not move forward. And so he wants to be a little bit more aggressive in this match. But, you know, Lapikas is kind of playing his game. He's the one rushing forward. But I haven't seen that check left, that check right hook, rather, from Shannon Wirichai. Now he's starting to come forward and throw. Lapikas, short, knee to midsection of the neck. A slap. It was an open hand slap off the right. 
puts Vera Chai against the ropes. Last time out for Lapicus, a TKO in two minutes and 24 seconds against Ibrahim Assar at Petrosia Mania. That was back in February. Good defense by Shannon Vera Chai to get that underhook on his left side and push Lapicus up against the ropes. Up and there from Shannon Vera Chai, a high knee from Lapicus back to his feet, drifts off, does the malt open. Vera Chai is very dangerous when he starts inside that clinch. There's that check right hook right there. He's very crafty inside that dirty boxing range, finding those little tiny angles and those little tiny holes inside his opponent's guard to land shots. One minute ten remains. Is Shannon Vera Chai going to be the first man ever to take Yuri Lapicus beyond the first round? Lapicus has never gone there. One minute left in the first round. 2014. Cut munching knee, one in return there from Wirajai. Overhook on that left arm from Lapicus. What do you like so far from Yuri Lapicus here, Dragon? I like his attitude when he's using legs and kicks, especially when he's at distance. How he's going to the inside leg of Shannon Wirajai, and he's also going to the body as well. He's also good inside that clinch as well. He's got a nice body lock. I was shaking hands with Lapicus the other day. He dwarf my hand. His hands are gigantic. He's strong grip, so I know he's very dominant and controlling inside that clinch. Have you ever thought maybe you've got small hands? No. Look at his hands. They're gigantic. They're the size of his head. <laughs> Overhand right there from Shannon Wirachai. Final seconds of this round. And it looks like Wirachai is going to do something no one's done before. He's going to take Yuri Lapicus into round number two. Small hands, the knockouts from Wirachai. You're just having it at me today, aren't you? He's going to get his court into the dragon. It's my show. <laughs> One round down into the second we go, into the Dragon broadcast to over 140 countries, potentially over 2.6 billion people. Welcoming our fans from India, Upstar and Select Star Sports 2, Thailand TV, Tyrat 32, Abima TV Japan, Myanmar, Skynet and MNTV, SCTV Indonesia, Astro Arena in Malaysia, ABS CBN Sports in Action, those awesome Filipinos, and a whole lot more. Okay. First round done. This is the first time in 12 matches. This is the 13th match that Lapikis has been outside. So the, the question first I asked you before, we're going to see if it affects him mentally at all, knowing for the first time ever he's going to go into round two. His cardio, his chin, his endurance, everything about him has never been tested like this. But he seemed very relaxed and controlled. Nothing was over exaggerated. Nothing was high energy expenditure. Even when he was inside the clinch or in those takedowns, he just kind of accepted that the takedown was lost and he let it get back and he was able to compose himself. Not breathing heavy, still very relaxed coming out of Lapikas. But Shannon Wirachai is looking good too. And Mitch, I think you make a really good point there in that Lapikas did not intentionally go hole for leather looking for a first round finish to try and continue that trend. So maybe it was just sort of. Getting that behind him. Yeah, it's done now, it's part of history. Now he's coming up blazing in the second, but you know he's done. Yeah, that, that pressure's no longer on him just to be a first round finisher. He rushed Shannon Wirachai throwing that four punch combination there. But Shannon's doing a good job, and now he's also being offensive as well. I'd like to see Shannon separate and wait for Lapikas to rush in again and throw that those, those punches again, because Shannon's got great hands. A must win match here for Shannon Wanshin Wirachai. His partner, Rika Ishige, in his corner, as always. Tremendous showman outside of the ring of the circle, but he's got to start proving it again inside Shannon Wirajai. And my word, if Wirajai turns it on, if we see the Wirajai of old, if we see the reason they call him one shin, you're in for a treat, a knockout treat. Can he pull the trigger? This is actually good for Lapikas to let these exchanges sort of just wear on Wirachai, especially with the arms. All that power comes from Shannon Wirachai's ability to turn his shoulders and his hips and to generate that perfect timing with those with that check right hook of his. So the more he starts to grapple with Wirachai, the more he starts to wear on him, he can start to drain that energy out of Shannon Wirachai. Chance for the knees here for Lapikas. Wirajai tries to thread the left hand. Lapikas into unfamiliar territory. Looks for a takedown on top position here. The Moldovan inside of half guard of Wirajai. That was a better takedown. He kept the body locked. 
nice and tight as he was able to turn the corner. Shannon gets butterfly hooks where he puts his legs on the inside of Lapikas right there. Now we can start to create a little bit of elevation, maybe try to pick Lapikas up. You can see him trying to elevate his hips right there, but you can see just how heavy Lapikas is trying to drop a little bit of ground and pound. Biggest night in Singapore martial arts history. Longest card, biggest card in one championship history tonight. And what a star-studded card we have for you. Nikki Holtzkin versus Rekin Ursel for the inaugural One Super Series Lightweight Kickboxing World Championship later on. And also the One Lightweight World title on the line. Shinya Aoki defends against the phenom Christian Lee. Also all quarterfinal matchups of the historic US $1 million One Super Series featherweight World Kickboxing Grand Prix. Yodson Pride, Petrosian, Cal. Morikot, Jabber Askarov, they're all in the house tonight. Smoke and Joe Nadawa, all here. I, was asked, I actually asked Giorgio Petrosian what Lapikas was best at. You know, where, where's his strength? And Giorgio looks at me and goes, he's tough. Very tough. <laughs> And I was like, I believe it. I was like, yeah, and I see that right now. You can just see how strong and how controlling and just, you know, he's taking, he's taking a few shots from Weirichai and he hasn't even shaken his head yet. He's just so gritty and he's just constantly grinding forward. Now he's doing a little bit of good work in the ground and pound. Shannon's trying to come back with, you know, some, some punches from the bottom, but they have no effect on Lucas. So he can pass the guard here of Weirichai. Weirichai's got a good active guard. Definitely something he's improved in. And as you said earlier, never competed outside of Italy, has Lapicus, but it looks like he travels well. He's doing phenomenally well so far. No travel issues, no jet lag, no tiredness, seemingly on the undefeated Lapicus. He's got to be a little bit more active now. Shan's trying to take down, shut down the, the strikes of Lapicus with the grab from, with the overhooks. Lapicus now starts to turn it on. Top position for the Molto event with one minute one remaining in the second the second 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 second. Close guard here from Wirajai, the tie on his back. What do you do here if you're Shannon Wirajai, Mitch? Man, Shannon's got to create space. He's got to take his feet. And I liked him with his butterfly hooks before. But he's just trying to hold on to him and maybe wait for a stand-up. I'd like to see Shannon start pushing his legs, on, get his feet on the hips of Lapikas, especially when he breaks away like that. When Lapikas separates to drop a little bit of that granite pound, that's when Shannon got to put his feet on the hips rather than trying to create that knee shield where he's trying to create space and defend. Put the feet on the hips and push Lapikas away. But again, that's easier said than done. Oh, nice elbow. Postured up well there, did Lapikas. 15 seconds on the clock. And it looks like Yuri Lapikas is going to go into deep, deep water. You've never been to the second? Well, Yuri, you're about to go to the third, fella, for the first time ever. That's exciting for Le, you know, for Lapikas to no, have this kind of experience against a high-level opponent like Mirachai. You know, to grind on him and to start you know, showing that confidence, it's going to only build his, not only his reputation, but just his confidence inside of himself that he can go a hard three rounds. Let's check out these title bouts we got going on here, Michael. Double main event, the lightweight kickboxing world title on the line in one Super Series. Nikki Holtzkin, Reche Nursel, world champion versus world champion. And then the Topakan Judo, the Baka Survivor, Shinya Aoki defends the lightweight world strap against the 20-year-old phenom Christian Lee. Well, that first round told us a lot about Shannon Weirichai. A, he's got to stay off his back. He's got to utilize that judo base, push down the head, make sure he creates those scrambles. He's going to have to expend a little bit more energy. Lapikas is barely even breathing heavy, so he was able to really just control his energy expenditure when he was sitting in that top position and just land that ground and pound without exerting too much energy. Shannon might be demoralized at this point. He's got to find that knockout power, reach down deep inside of himself, and let those hands go. go third and final round I touch gloves the South Pole stance on Shannon Wirichai had the orthodox good. stance on Yuri Lapikas had a good Iron Man thing there but I don't do spoilers nice jab there by Shannon Wirichai see his ears a little bit he has a little bit of damage on the left side of his head there on Wirichai Lapikas can get through from that ground and pound 
nice inside leg kick from Wirachai. Shannon throws the whole nice leg kick. Tag Yuri with that run. Abacus momentarily stunned and the flying knee from Wirachai. That's more like it from the tie, the one shin, Shannon Wirachai. And he used that one shin beautifully when he threw that left high kick and caught Lapikas on the side of his head. Now Lapikas has got to try to slow him down. You can start to see the urgency start to come out of Shannon Wirchai. Shannon Wirchai might see something here. Lapikas is getting backed up into the corner. Wirchai is being aggressive. Oh, nice takedown defense there from Wirchai. He might have a front headlock here. Let's go. Let's the hands go. You can see Lapikas starting to get a little bit desperate on that takedown. Lapikas might be tired, Michael Chavello. He's tired and he's been hit cleanly several times here in the third and final round. This is a one way traffic. This is Shannon Wirchai now. Can we try to finish it? Oh, oh beautiful. The body. That was to the liver. Folded him in half. That was a beauty from Wirajai. Apicus gassed. Apicus burnt. 3.30 remains in the contest. He's never been to the third. He's never been to the second. And he's feeling it now. Head rocks back. This one's over soon. Oh, he shoots oh. in. Good sprawl there from Wirachai. Good job by Lapikas to press Wirachai into that corner. You can start to see Wirachai starting to turn it on. Two more clean shots and Shannon would have had it. It was a good way to get it. Take down. Very clever from the Moldovan. Shannon's got to get up, man. He can't lose this. He falls into the mount. Uh, who has the bigger gas tank, Michael Chavello? That's what this lightweight match is going to come down to. Lapikas in mount. Full control on Shannon Wirachai. He separates out, now he's just gonna drop down the elbows. He comes like this again. We're in position for Sham Wirachai to do any sort of escape. The referee's gonna call a hot to him. Looks like they're gonna bring them back to the center. Mitch Wirachai had it going for a moment, and I don't want to spoil Avengers Endgame for you anymore, but let's hope that he doesn't do what actually happened at the end of the movie. Stop! But yes, it is! Okay, now Wirachai is nice and tight. Now, the problem with this defensive strategy is he's trying to stall. He's trying to hold, wait for possibly a stand-up. He's got to put his hands on the hips like he's doing right there. Put his hands on the hips and start to scoot away, create bumps. He just might not have the pressure. Well, I don't know why he's crossing his leg because that leg cross right there is actually a defense to when somebody's in side control. Pass over. Shannon's got to start bumping. He's got to start bridging his hips up into the air to create some movement. He's only got two minutes left to work, and he was piecing up Lapikas there in the first two minutes of that match. Oh, look at the elbows now from Lapikas. Mirachai oh, is cut. He is cut. Oh, he gives up his oh, back. This oh. is what Lapikas wants. This will be the beginning of the end now for us here. So, uh, yeah, Avengers end up. My man dies in the end. Well, Lapikas. Gets a third round win, the first time in his career. The man is 13 and 0, and I dare say, Mitch, first time out of Italy. We didn't know too much about him. The real deal, Yuri Lapikas is here. Man, he showed us a lot in that match, and especially when he was in danger. Shannon Wirachai was hitting him with some big shots. He was coming forward, but then when Lapikas was able to get the takedown and he was able to get on top and then just start letting them fly. And you can just see the ground and pound just cutting through the guard. Shannon Wirachai was forced to give up his back. And then Lapikas was able to lock up that rear naked choke. Look at those big old those just punches coming down from all angles. You can see Wirachai was in trouble. Gave up his back right there. Moldovan Beatles. And then he right. takes the look at that. And before a second, now that choke was in so tight, so fast. Wirachai had to tap his way out. And that is going to delight Giorgio Petrosian, who is backstage warming up that historic one Super Series featherweight World Grand Prix. He's the greatest kickboxer of all time. is the trainer of Yuri Lapikas. Let's go to Tom Lau. Make it all official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Motohiro Tsuhura, has called a stop to this contest after three minutes and 10 seconds in the third and final round. Or your winner, by way of rear naked choke, Iori Lapico! 13 and 0 in a career dating back to 2014. 12 first round finishes, and now one of the third. Yuri Lepikus of Moldova via Italy and Team Petrosian takes the winner's medal back to Europe. And...
coming up next. It's a mixed martial arts rules contest set for three by